Step onto the Whitehall, Maryland property of Alyssa and Alex Baxter, and you could see the appeal of living in a home that dates back to 1804. It was a log cabin, and my mother and father had reconstituted a log cabin in Virginia, McLean, Virginia, when I was just a baby. So when I saw that this was a property that Alex and I could afford in 83, and it was a log cabin. I mean, all the bells and whistles went right off. Tell me a little bit about the history of this home. You know the original homeowner. The original homeowner were the Andersons. It was called Andersons Hill and Dale, and it was probably around 800 acres. And then it, it was deeded out and whatever, so to different homeowners. It became the Baxter's home and renovation project in 1983. Their goal, make it livable and comfortable while preserving history. That was very important to us, to Alex being an ex-history and geography teacher and me and our teacher was very important to continue the line that we had inherited, that we bought. And what, was that important to you as well? Well, it was a good idea, I thought, yes, you know, because I really do believe that uh, we're beginning to lose our history. That's precisely why homeowners in Baltimore County, Calvert, Kent, Talbot, and Prince George's counties are opening their homes, gardens, farms, and churches for this year's Maryland House and Garden Pilgrimage. The pilgrimage began in 1937, so we are in our 77th year, and our mission has been the same for all 77 years, to support the preservation and restoration of historic sites throughout the state of Maryland. And this year is no exception. This year's theme is transportation. It spans about 120 years covering transportation up the Old York Turnpike and the different uh, places where travelers would stop along the road. So first place would be the Weisberg Inn, which was originally built around 1782, the core of it, and you'll be able to see the parlors where the people would come in and rest their weary bones. Ruth Muscari is the chair of the Preservation Alliance of Baltimore County. There's history in the North County that people simply do not believe is here. Such as? The Weisberg Inn, for example, was a pre-1810 monument to um, the travel, the transportation theme that we're trying to portray. What stays here are memories of the Baxter's early years. When you first moved in, what was the toughest challenge of making this a home that you could actually live in? Well, the heating. Um, was an issue. We had strip electric. There was no central heat. There was no central air. There were old uh, glass windows. So, you know, replacement windows went in. The same structure of the windows, six over six. But it was a very cold house. Uh, the first year we were here, we had um, blankets hanging on the walls. The wind was whipping through. Is it amazing to think that's how people once lived? Yes. That's, I think that's also why they once didn't live very long either. <laughs> Today, the house boasts a library slash dining room that blends in perfectly with the original kitchen turned tea room. Their new kitchen is up to date without looking modern. I love how you don't, you if you walk in here, you don't know exactly what's old and what's new. Thank you. That's a real compliment because mm -hmm. that's what I work so hard to do. The history comes alive on Sunday, May 4th in Baltimore County and ends on May 31st in Kent County. Each tour is $30 when purchased in advance with lunch and a history lesson for all ages. I'm Nancy Yamada for State Circle.